Ladies and gentlemen, can we give a warm welcome to tonight's referees? Please give it up for Rob Spencer and Kevin Dabrowski. Oh, maybe. <laughs> I like both of you. Good evening and welcome to the Bet Victor Northern Ireland Open here in Belfast. Please, table two appearing in a second ranking event quarter final. It's Louis Heathcote. Taking on three time ranking event semi finalist Elliot Slesser. And now on table one, the two former world champions. Please welcome 12 time ranking event winner Sean Murphy. against world number one and defending champion, John Trump! It's a tale, John, it's your choice. You're gonna break. Friday night at the waterfront, it's lively in here. Two matches to complete the semi final lineup at the Northern Ireland Open, and this is a big heavyweight clash if ever there was one. Judd Trump Thank against Sean friend. Murphy. Judd Trump's a break.
Joe Trump leads the head-to-head, -head. 16 wins to nine. He's won the last five, including a tight semi-final in Riyadh, the Saudi Arabia Masters, 6-5. And also, of course, this season, a bit more comfortable, 11-5 in the final at the Shanghai Masters. Murphy may feel he owes him one, but we saw last night against Hawkins, and we've seen it really all year, how hard Judd Trump is to beat. This is his 15th tournament of 2024, and it's the 15th time he's reached at least the quarterfinals. Sean Murphy, though, likes the big occasion, doesn't he? He likes being out there, centre stage. You get the feeling this will be a really good match tonight. Of course, he had that narrow escape. Brilliant game yesterday with Stuart Bingham. 4-3 on the black. Murphy's third quarter final appearance at the Northern Ireland Open 2019 2021. He got that far, never any further. Of course, Trump is aiming to win this title for a fifth time. So it's a venue he really enjoys. Just a containing safety shot there. Not trying to get the cue ball back down the table too far. We actually try to hit that uh, around the right and cover it with the bolt colours, which he's not managed. It should be a good match, these two, isn't it? You'd think not to foresee anything but the way they've played to get through and the style of players they are. Reminder that Louis Heathcote and Elliot Slesser are on table two, that's live on Discovery Plus. The respective winners will play each other tomorrow night. It's Pang Jung Zhu, Karen Wilson in the afternoon. Tomorrow. When of course we'll be down to just a, a setup that Trump is well used to. He won five tournaments last season. Already this season he's won two. The Shanghai Masters where he beat Murphy in the final, of course, the Saudi Arabia Masters where he made that fantastic clearance against Mark Williams. Once again, difficult to play up the table here with the red on the left side. Doesn't leave that many options, really. Not positive safety shots, unless he thinks he's worth going for something to left middle. But that is really difficult. By nature, he's a very attacking player. Sean Murphy, yeah, he's going for this. Tough shot. Oh, really very good. It worked. There wasn't though, uh, sometimes comes into it, not a meaningful one, an excellent opening red. It does sort of feel like he's due a win. I mean, we saw Neil Robertson and Mark Selby recently come back and, and win tournaments after a little period out. Sean Murphy won the Championship League at the start of last season. The rest of the campaign wasn't so hot but you know he's played some good stuff this season Judd Trump of course beaten him a couple of times he lost two other players who have gone on to win Thomas Neil Robertson at the English Xiaogu Dong played outstandingly against him in Wuhan but he's got to beat this man tonight to stand a chance of course of being in the mix for the Alex Higgins trophy
12. Well, he's going to look to see if the red by the black is in any way potable. I'm not sure. It does look a bit like the red is a bit cross to the left and touching the black, or very close to it, so it might be an area, but there isn't much room to pot it, if there is at all. Thanks. Certainly have to give this breaker quite a lot of thought to see if he can make it into something. I think he's looking at either whether the pink goes to the left corner or that's probably the most likely thing that he is studying. There's a red just below it. I'm not sure there's any sort of a gap through to it. 30. Yeah. Pink and then if he's got a just off straight angle, he could go through the reds. But I think it's a bit wide, the angle on this. Try it. Is he on it or not? He'd be unlucky if he's not, actually. 36. Don't know if he can get to the potting angle. I don't think so. It's a more difficult red to middle here where he can't cue the white very well over the bunch. Very good shot. Very good. Maybe it looked easy, but it wasn't. Yeah, there's not a lot of room there either, but there's a red to middle anyway, but there, are, there is a red that goes, it seems. 44. It's a terrific opening red to make any of this possible. Yeah, I mean, when Murphy turns it on, as we see the red again, fantastic shot. And when he turns it on, he, he really is some handful to watch. He's uh, He won the Players and Tour Championships, didn't he? Back end of the season before last. And the Players' Championship in particular, he was just absolutely oh, brilliant. Uh, <laughs> young man. Here may be a star of the oh, future. Yes. 
being inspired by these great players. Yeah, if Murphy can produce that level that he did to win those two tournaments, he can beat anybody. He's done particularly well with this break, you know, because the red's been sort of glued to the black all the way through it. 54. Now, is he not on this? He looks a little disgruntled as if to say, well, uh, Thought he would be on it. I'm sure he can get to that. Not saying there's a lot of room. But... 55. Well, not only he potty, he got the cannon on the black, so things are looking okay. Played it with a trace of left hand side, Ashley, to widen the potting angle. See then, he needs one more red. 62. This is the way to beat Trump. Keep him in that seat. We saw Corin Wilson come out, played a great first frame against Mark Williams. It did set the pattern in this afternoon's match. But he's overcut that. John Murphy. 62. Yeah, it's a slight worry, isn't it? Because the red was awkwardly placed by the black all the way through. It no longer is. Well, Trump made a couple of terrific clearances last night, didn't he? Against Hawkins that made all the difference. What? Really good clearances, not necessarily in orthodox positions, the balls either. Often started with a very good opening red. Here, as you can see, his next red into a fairly acute potting angle into the middle. He's not straightforward. No, always going to be near Joe, that. Just Trump hates. Well, the tape, well, the concern for Murphy is the balls are in well, too open a position going forward. He wants something safe. It's a bit of a concern, this. 54 in front doesn't mean a lot where the balls are. Lucky pocket. Just got to watch which colours he takes because with the reds at the other end of the table, it's not so easy to get onto high value colours, and he will need quite a few of those. He's taking the pink here as well, so that takes a point off. And you'll certainly have a look at the scores and be attempting to finish on something higher value than so. the bulk colour. He can't afford to take any of those. Forty-seven, the difference. Yeah, he's got to be watchful of that. I think it's going to be very hard. But even if he's playing on the blue here, Eight. very hard to take high enough value colours with the two remaining reds. Can afford a pink.
It has to be a black from here, otherwise he's not going to be able to win the frame without a respot or even needing snookers. So this is not nice. Definitely not easy. Playing with topspin through bog here and back down the other end. Fourteen. Really hit the balls with pace and accuracy, Trump. Twenty. So thirty-four in it. He'll not be going for this red, but a red and the black and all the colours can win in the frame. Just Trump. Twenty. Best that last shot. Yeah, left the shot to nothing, not in though. Put the second part of the shot. Cue ball back to ball. Already a exciting start to proceedings. Murphy made the early running with the 62, just trying to get over the line now. Well, that might have just about won the frame for him if it's a snooker. Oh, I think he can get through. Well, the red is on. He needs, of course, a black off it. Yeah, shake of the head from Murphy. He was in control of this frame. Did have frame ball initially on that break of 62, which he overcut to this pocket. Oh. Yeah, he's right to be concerned. This was the uh, the red that he that he overcut, as I mentioned, on 62.
Percy. Well, frames like this can really set a pattern. Sean Murphy, it's only the first frame, and he's looking down as if he's really disappointed, thinking that this is not the start he was looking for. He came out well, but 62 break is well and good, but if you don't win the frame from there, it kind of hurts more than if you didn't really compete in the frame. 22. But he's making a, something of a career of this now. Judd Trump stealing frames. It's definitely the one that got away for Murphy. He was looking to make a good start. He was well on the way to doing that. Thirty Yet again, Joe right. Trump has made the clearance. And over the course of a tournament, breaks like that make a big difference. 1-0. Well, very interesting start. Well, it was a terrific red that he knocked in from the outset here, Murphy, because he didn't really have many other shots he could have played, so he took it on. Just got a little awkward there. He overcut that red, and that's when the problem started. He was kind of on the back foot in the frame for long periods after that. This is where it also initially went wrong for Judd Trump because this didn't go in. It was always near John, it just pulled down a little bit. And that's a good shot this time because it felt as if he would come close to clearing up at this stage, but he kind of ran out of points a little bit. That was a problem. He had to take a pink with the second last red, as you see, knocked in, and, and a black with the other red. It's a good shot, though, wasn't it, to play gently to hold it's a better shot than it looks. The most natural way of putting that red is to go up the table further. And he dished up, and that's what he's been doing this week. Well, early days, but uh, they're the stats so far. Yeah, I mean, look, it's frame one, but Murphy was hoping to do, I guess, what Karen Wilson did to Mark Williams, come out, play a great first frame, kind of lay the gauntlet down and, and move on from there. But in fact, you saw him shaking his head as Judd Trump cleared up. So a fascinating start. And Judd Trump, the defending champion, he loves being here at the weekend, doesn't he, in Belfast? And, of course, if he wins tonight, he'll be doing exactly that. This is the other match tonight. It's slightly uh, slower going over there. Elliot Slesser and Louis Heathcote still, as you can see, there's, what, seven reds on. So, big night for both, particularly Louis. It's only his second quarter final in a ranking event. And, uh, of course, he's already beaten Mark Selby and various other people this week. But that, this will be a huge step. To get to the one-table setup tomorrow would be massive for him, of course, as it would for Elliot Slesser. But he has at least been there before. Big crowd in the front hall this evening. Sean Murphy to break. And they're already watching a very interesting match here on table one. Sean Murphy made the running, couldn't quite kill off frame one. Judd Trump eventually cleared last red to black. Best of nine to reach the semi finals. The Home Nation series, it's a 10 year series initially, so next year will be the last one. But whatever happens, in the future, and let's hope it continues. But if it doesn't, this event surely has got to carry on. It's such a, a highlight of the, the season coming here. Judge Trump enjoys it, doesn't he? He'd like to play every event here as he knocks that long red.
Three. Must be tight, this. As to whether he's on that red by the side of the pink. Yeah, again, he can get through to it all right. It's another part of his game that's so good. I mean, he's got the cue speed to really put spin on the ball, get the cue ball out of a fairly awkward position. And get stuck in the bunch when he hits it like that with that speed spin. Saying yesterday, I don't really know who you can compare him to as a player. He's a bit unlucky there, is he? No, he's very much his Thanks. own player, brand of snooker. I think he can just get through. He kind of controlled aggression all the time. He puts oh. a lot of very tough balls, sort of almost with monotonous regularity in the middle of breaks. No, his cue ball is not as immaculate as other players, but he just keeps going. It's always been the same. Yeah, he sort of sees all parts of the table during a break, doesn't he? But invariably, they, they just go in. Well, that has not come to plan. This is, I guess, the problem if the cue ball is travelling, you know, there's more likelihood something's going to go wrong if it's travelling a long distance. In and out of bulk on this occasion. Yes, I mean, the man who... The trophy's named after Alex Higgins. He had his own way of doing things, didn't he? And, and you know, he was unorthodox, but it worked for him. He really was unorthodox. I played him a number of times, and he, he often would play a certain shot from A to B in a way that no other player on the tour would play it. You know, and his technique was different. He lots of moving parts, but, of course, he had that X factor, and he had that sort of little bit of magic about him, didn't he? Which... Uh, yeah, not every snooker player, as good as they are, have all got that. Yeah, our friend and colleague, Clive Everton, who passed away recently, he said every Alex Higgins match was an emotional occasion if you were in the arena. People were invested in him as much as the snooker he was playing. It's great that these legends are remembered with these trophies. Sean Murphy, the only home nation's title he won the Welsh Open. That's the Ray Reardon trophy. Of course, Ray sadly passed away in the summer. Chance to get the cue ball figure of eight round the angles here and behind yellow or probably brown if he plays it that way. So it's a sort of very popular sort of shot which often sends the cue ball into quite awkward places. Not got a snooker but still applied some pressure. Uh, Murphy, I think you could see the disappointment that losing that first frame as Judd was about to win it. It's just the last thing he needed to lose a frame, having made a decent break at the start of it. Doesn't set a very good trend for the evening. They all count the same, but it doesn't feel like that when you're out there. He's so good at picking up the pieces these days. To give her a thin edge of one of these reds,
And that's a good shot because he was over the top of uh, the brown there with no easy queuing. There's a Diera that Murphy is looking for. There, that, that's absolutely fine. Good rest shot, wasn't it? You know, he like really got hold of it. Keep whoops that he flew back. Again, he's going to have to work fairly hard for this break, as in the, the first frame, with the, there was a red by the side of the the black for the most part, and he did ever so well to get as many as he did. So this is not a completely dissimilar sort of scenario. The ball's awkward. Hello. There's only really one way to put aside the disappointment 20. of losing a narrow frame, and that's win the next one. 25. Trump was in first here, of course. Of course, Murphy beat him. Judd Trump, this is on his Crucible debut, and he was uh, only 17 back in 2007. He was <laughs> very raw, certainly a talent then, but 32. he really was a potter in those days. Yeah, I seem to remember that match. <coughs> he played his part in it, and everyone was speaking about Judd, but it was a little bit too much for him, I think, on debut. More recently, Murphy beat him in the quarterfinals at the Crucible in 2021. So he's had some high profile wins, just not of late. He's lost the last five. 39. Forty-five. 
46. Almost at the point where he will make the frame safe. 53. Just needs this pink and another red to avoid it. A repeat of frame one. Looks to be playing well, doesn't he? You know, tonight, I know he came unstuck in the first frame, but he looks pretty good. He played well against Bingham, let's be honest. He was 3 1 down and Bingham was 59. playing well. He nearly had a maximum break. He was on for a maximum in the frame he'd won, but the comeback in that match tells me that he was very close to his best. not to get all the way around for red, but even then he'd be more than happy with this. 66. Yeah, we'll see whether Trump feels like coming back or not here. 55 behind, 43 on. Sean Murphy, 66. Yeah. On the frame. Deciding against it. Yeah, good response to that after the way Murphy lost the first frame. 66 in the second, and we're all square at one each. Let's hear more now about Sean Murphy. Over on table two, Elliot Slesser leads Louis Heathcote 1 0 here on table Thank one. Judd Trump, frame. Sean Murphy level. Murphy could have been 2 0 up, but at least he responded well in frame two, having the first one stolen from him.
going to be some weekend. I mean, you look this afternoon, Pang Zhang Zhu finished very well indeed against Neil Robertson. Corin Wilson, very impressive against Mark Williams. So one of those two is going to be in the final. There is the extra carrot of a champion of champions place as well, of course, for the winner, if you're not already in that. Judd Trump's qualified about six or seven times for it, so he's fine. He'll be in Bolton in November. Sean Murphy not yet in. He could get in off the ranking list if uh, if there aren't enough winners. Oh, miss. Judd Trump for. Well, this is a misjudgment. Not uh, so much not getting the reds, but leaving this one on. What? Yeah, and for the first time, the black is not tied up. In the first couple of frames, it was awkwardly placed. That could be a big misjudgment, in fact. <laughs> He's got the angle, I think, on the red to stun down towards the black here. So. Keep hearing the best of sevens are a lottery, but the fact is Judd Trump is appearing in his 21st Home Nations quarter-final in 32 events he's played in over the years. So he's won all those best of sevens. In At the end of the day, you've got to get over the line, and uh, we've seen players take leads against some of the top players over the years and not convert. But it's not a problem he's got in any format but it seems to be a master of getting through those short games. Yeah, I think he tried to just glance off the red above the black there and push it away. I'm not so sure what will happen now when it gets respotted, whether the red goes. He just tried to move the red forward, but he didn't really make contact with it. Here it is. It just moved, but not far enough across. 80. Twenty four. I mean, they are all good little shots. I didn't think he'd miss it. <coughs> Trying to take the cue around the back of the black, but you, know, you have to be a little careful on those. You can't see the opening of the pocket, but you know he put nine of those out of ten.
clearly a lot of respect between these two, both well aware of the other's capabilities. Similar players in as much as they're very good from distance, they're very good at getting in, and obviously both heavy scorers as well, so each wary of the other. Sean Murphy will not be happy with that. Yeah, I think he was more concerned about playing safe from the bunch of reds and opening them up. But they probably had a better route back to bolt playing off the bunch. One. Well, he was conscious of trying to get above the blue, but he's gone a fraction too far. He could have finished just short of where he is now. He'd have had a lovely shot from blue into the bunch. Uh, I'm not so sure he can get into them very easily, whatever he plays. He's straight on the green. Blue, I don't think there's much of an angle there. And the reds are packed together, so... Quite how he keeps his break going, I'm not sure. Usually he finds a way. Well, he's playing this yellow, taking it round the angles at pace, it would be a difficult shot. No, oh, didn't think he would. So, handy lead this, but with plenty of reds in play, soon the pink, I think, will be developed once he plays off the bunch here. Frame is still up for grabs. Well played, safety shot that one. Can't ask for any more than that shot. It's a very good safety shot. It really is to hit that red net. as thin as that. And so much so that he avoided the main bulk of reds. And again, it's a well-directed shot, even though the red came out towards the pocket. two balls so close together it's a little misleading at times I think surely if he can aim away from the red it might be able to be potted here 
It's a strange position the balls are in. So close to that right corner. Yeah, it's not even more than about a quarter ball. Well. These two are actually the two leading century break makers this season. Trump on 30 and Murphy on 26. They've each made three in this tournament. No. Interesting though on centuries. Murphy, yeah, 26. Last season he made 32 the whole season. So, you know, we're still in October. To be on 26 just shows you he is playing well in this campaign. Killing frames off pretty ruthlessly. 17. Just got to work these now from here because once he pots his reddies on, you know, the other reds are a little bit blocking each other off somewhat. They're not 22. in a safe position, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure which one had come next. Maybe the one directly above the black. Sean could get across either to the left or right. Sort of a long line with, in, in line with it. Or else he might have to just nudge the reds. Twenty eight. Don't think he can pot that. Don't think there's enough of the red sticking out to get make the potting angle. <laughs> the middle has not worked out either, so a little deft little cannon, but it's not landed him on a red very easily, if at all. <coughs> Frustratingly, he'll have to play up the table. Sean Murphy. 20 now I suppose he wishes he'd gone into the reds with a bit more pace. But I think he did it like that for a reason. He, this is the kind of speed he played it. Didn't want to hit the first red. He, he hit the red he meant to, really, but somehow hasn't finished on the ball. Sure, Judd came around to have a look at that. Murphy still reliving his previous visit to the table and how it ended. I think he played this. Didn't see an apology, and I'm sure he walked round to have a look at the angle. Rumble. Just Trump. Definitely advantage Trump, but it doesn't mean he's sure to win this frame. See this again, it's one of these Murphy's had to will himself to get back out of that seat. <laughs> he just looked furious, didn't he? But this is how Trump has changed as a player over the years. He's, you know, in situations like this, he's granite. <laughs> Oh, 
Mr. Trumpful. Yes, he's, he's ill at ease. Uh, I don't think that's a bad thing with Murphy, you know. He prides himself on his sportsmanship, and, you know, if he does lose a match, he'll always be very gracious. But at the moment, he, he's far from having lost this match, but he's a little frustrated in this frame. What? The way it's unfolding. Well, he probably is thinking, well, I can't allow Trump these chances. Should have made more from that previous scoring visit. He's... Uh, it's turning into a player, Trump, who just steals frames from you. Black ball. It's a very precise positional shot that he's Eight. played. Murphy, watch. No. Those two reds were safe before that shot. They wouldn't pot anywhere. Well, it was uh, right to be concerned. So, Judge Trump. 23. Surely about to go 2 1 in front here. 32 in front, so just needing the red. 24. Yes, it's not going to be a spectacular frame to win, but it's just one to notch up, isn't it, on the board? It? This, with that one opportunity that Murphy had, which he didn't score enough from. Good Trump. No way back from here. I'm the frame. Sure, Murphy. A rather resigned nod of the head. He knew that was a frame. He could have won. In fact, he could have won all three, couldn't he? But the fact is, it's Judd Trump who's leading 2-1. So looking back at the middle frame of the three that we've seen, frame two. Safety error there from Trump allowed Murphy, and he absolutely got hold of that with the rest. It's a, such a difficult shot anyway, but he really did get so much spin on it. As I say, he, he is playing well. Uh, you know, he went on to make a fairly substantial break, 66 from this chance, and that was the score's level. But in his mind, he knows he could have been 2-0 up. This is in this frame where... Trump is in a snooker and he, I mean, he's left this. Which uh, Murphy knocks in and you think, well, he, he, he's gonna, he's gonna make a few here, but it was just a cannon that he played here on the, the middle red, the left-hand red as we look now. And it seems that, I think that Murphy felt that he'd be on a red to the middle at worst. He wasn't on a ball. Trump knocked in the plant, and then you can see Murphy's disappointment because he never really got back into the frame again. He's trying to get out of a difficult snooker, but doesn't get very close. So a little sort of hand movement there. He can't believe the way that that frame has gone against him, but he can put it right. You know, it's 2-1, and if they went to the interval at 2 each, I don't think there could be too many complaints on either side, but at the moment, Judd with the edge. Well, look at Trump's size break there, 35. So, you know, it's not spectacular, is it? But it hasn't needed to be. That 35 was the clearance in frame one, and that was the telling break that kicked this match off. So, uh, Murphy's had the two highest breaks, 66, that was in frame two that he won, but, of course, the 62 in frame one he didn't. Fascinating stuff. But what we're seeing again, and we saw it last night against Hawkins, is Trump is ready when the chance is there to win these frames, it's ready. It's not all about the big numbers necessarily, it's about when you pop the balls, and he's done so in two key frames to get the lead. On the other table, it's 2-0, Elliot Slesser over Louis Heathcote.
Judd Trump Thank yet to make a 40 Frank. break this evening, but he's 2 1 up against Sean Murphy. He's made a couple of key contributions at the right place. time. Big crowd in on this Friday night at the Waterfront Hall. 2 0 to Elliot Slesser against Louis Heathcote on table two in tonight's other quarter final. Best of 11 semis tomorrow, the first one in the afternoon, one o'clock local time. Pang Jung Zhu, who knocked out Neil Robertson against the world champion, Karen Wilson. Murphy's actually ahead on total points in this match, but of course he lost two close frames. Yeah, another example of a very strong safety shot with perhaps just the edge of the bunch available or the red that's next to the black perhaps which won't disturb very anything <laughs> high levels of safety once again in this match between these two Yeah, there's that highest break, 35 for Trump, but of course it was that key clearance in frame one. And as I mentioned, as we see Murphy take on the red, he's ahead on the aggregate, but none of that This is the frame score. He's not going to change his game, why should he? But he's going to have to start getting them. This red's on to middle. What? That could be a moment in this match just there with the Judd early in. The opportunity to build a couple of frames lead and without jumping the gun because then he just started the break. Should he do that, Murphy wouldn't be very happy because he played a big part in the frames we've seen. Six. But he's only won one of them. Seven. Well, I might fancy the bunch of reds here 20. from the top side of the blue. The way the pink is, and it seems to be the pink is actually touching the front few reds in the bunch you might think that it's a, a good opportunity to get 
Have a little dart at these and get them open. Can play on the loose red, but it kind of is delaying the inevitable, really. Doesn't often need a second opportunity, does he? Half decent split, the cue ball not bad on a red. Twenty Jack Trump watching on from the stands. That's Judd's brother, as we know, keeping uh, his distance. But of course, he'll be with him at the interval. He'll be enjoying what he's seeing so far. As long as Trump can nail this frame now. 33. Yes, I mean, he keeps his distance when his brother is playing. But also, in the main, you know, he's not looking for the limelight, is he? He just does his job and looks after his brother's interests. He's in it for the right reasons. He's trying to help his brother rather than promote himself. 39. 40. Yeah, it looked a natural, didn't it? Just a brush off that red. There he is. Probably happy with what he's seeing on the, what the is he on the assumption that Judd wins this frame and he hasn't done, done so yet. I don't know what the little mid-session chat would be. I don't think it would be too close, perhaps. Not if this frame goes his way. I think he has given him an addressing down on a few occasions. Judd's admitted that he turned matches round. This is a nice little cannon. The, uh, red directly above, as you saw, is the one that he moved. Now anything's possible in this break. He must have had some uh, some input into the scenario when he was 4-0 down in Saudi in his first match against Wu Yiza. Because he turned it around, looked at a completely different player afterwards. Won the match, won the tournament. It also helps to just have someone doing all the sort of functional stuff like get in the hotel rooms, all that stuff that you don't want to spend your time doing. So all the intensity that Judge Trump has is on the table. And we're seeing the fruits of that again here. What a wonderful chance not only to win the frame for a 3-1 lead, but to make a big break as well. And give Sean Murphy plenty to think about in the interval. A couple of frames have gone away from Sean Murphy, certainly the opener like he was going to win and then he could have been away couldn't he 64 as it is this is frame ball for 3-1 On all sides of Judd Trump again, haven't we? We've seen uh, the match player made the steely clearance, telling Snooker in the last frame, set up the chance in this one. It's one visit. Sean Murphy took on that tough red to left corner, didn't get it, left one to right middle. And Trump has done the rest. Looking now to add to his century tally. Currently standing for his career at 1,010. For the season at 30. 79. 85. 86. It's been a, a well-controlled break, and I shouldn't sound surprised, but I was saying earlier that not all of the times that Judd makes big breaks, century breaks. You know, he's got the cue ball under very tight control, but this has been 
Thanks. On those occasions when it has been well controlled, not that many awkward shots over it. Thanks. It's a course of what he's making. Well, what a way to go to the interval with a century's fourth of the week. And he is in control at the halfway stage of this quarter final. Not only that, he's really upped his game in this frame. 101. This is a shot he's made his own. I don't think I ever saw it played before. Judd played it all around the angles. 108. You know, if he gets it right, I suppose the cue ball just runs about a few inches further across, but the line was terrific. Been a pretty effortless break, this one. 113. Not over yet, this match, but the, the, the sort of trend was set a little bit in frame one where Murphy did not win it, despite that break of 62. So. Didn't set him off on a good footing. In the meantime, Judd's having his own fun now, and he's knocking everything in. Yeah, the cue ball is uh, getting a bit of a hammer in. <laughs> and the crowd are loving it. 128. Wonderful stuff. The black for a total clearance of 135. <laughs> so Judd Trump stole the opener. And he goes to the interval with a century. Sean Murphy with a lot to think about. It's Trump on top. Way stage, leading 3-1. Now, of course, we saw a very interesting match earlier on. Neil Robertson looking to complete the set of home nations titles, but it wasn't to be against Pang Shenzhou.
Thank you. The fifth break. Judge Trump's break. Well, it's never over till it's over, but clearly you'd rather be Judd Trump right now. 3-1, and of course made that 1-2-8 in frame four. Sean Murphy has at times looked a little rattled, but he's had the interval to clear his head, get back out there and try and get stuck into the second half of the match. Yeah, the overall pot success. I mean, he's not missed much, has he? But he has left just a couple of chances, and that's all Trump's needed to win the frames he's won. Well, that's really opened everything up. Looks a pretty good shot, doesn't it? Whether he can get through to that red. Is the big key. I mean, maybe if, if he can, then it's not so great. But it, as you say, he's completely opened it all up. Well, yeah, you get a better view from behind. That is a very close one. He might be able to get to the potting angle there, but it is touch and go, I must say. Whether you know, Murphy has decided that he is going to open the game up more. But against Judd Trump, I'm not sure even that would work. <laughs> Whichever style of snooker you play, attacking or defensive, really, I think they both come alike to him. You've just got to play at your best. He thinks he can just sneak through. Played it with a trace of side, in fairness. A bit of right-hand side on that. It's a really good shot. Because he felt he could get there without... Putting a bit of spin on the ball. Just see the way he arced it slightly around the red. Six. Red to the right middle, both of which uh, Require slightly awkward queuing. Seven. Well, it's almost like we haven't had the interval, isn't it? This is what the sort of position he was in in that fourth frame, which he won with the century. Murphy's just got to hope something goes wrong here. Judd Trump, otherwise he's going to be in d even deeper trouble. <laughs> Thirty. Fourteen. Well, it would be uh, very optimistic to think that he's not going to go on and make quite a few here if you're his opponent. He could possibly win another frame in one visit. He's not done it yet. Twenty-seven. Hasn't been knocked in. It's still red, sort of in the way of it. It goes, but it isn't a clear sort of shot at the black until the red above it's gone. In the meantime, he's still putting reds in lower value colours. Just move the red away from it this time. That's a really clever. 
of a shot because he actually pushed the red away and into the other two that were safe, so that's even better. This is a much better shot than it first appeared. It's opened up the whole frame. I'm sure Murphy opened the reds. Desperately needed a good cue ball, and it was very tight, wasn't it, as to whether Trump could get through to the red. But here we are with a great chance for 4 1. Yeah, this was it. Definitely a little trace of side on there to make it possible. 48. This is really, I mean, as I said earlier, you know, the brakes aren't always with immaculate cue ball control, but the last couple have been. Most of the time, you know, there's a number of shots which are events for Judd. Tough shots. 55. I think he looks confident. All week he's played well, which is not always the case. A lot of the, the times he survives the first few rounds, it just gets better. They've just gone to the interval on table two. Elliot Slesser's 3 1 up on Louis Heathcote. But this frame's only been going six and a half minutes. And Judd Trump, he's just a couple of balls away from putting himself 4 1 in front. 62. Remember, only three people have ever beaten him in Belfast. Stuart Carrington, Mark Allen and Aaron Hill. That's the, the very short list. It's going to take something special now for Sean Murphy to join it. Could well be back. He's here. 75. 76. Been a bit of movement in the background on the other table, just between frames and people, a couple of people going to the bar. He hasn't noticed any of it. All he's looking at is the 12 by 6. Let's go in the pockets. 82. Nine. I'm sure he's pleased with the way he's playing, goodness, he really must be, because he's played ever so well tonight. Absolute burst of great building. He did have an angle there, but he whipped the cue ball through. It was all a bit of a blur, wasn't it? That's good as well, because they're not simple on this table. The pockets are not easy. So this for back-to-back -back centuries. One before the interval. And one immediately after the interval. Just needed one chance. It's quite a good shot, actually, you know, on that black. And we did, you know, just saw the... Cube will just bounce in a dead straight line up and down, and back down through the brown and yellow perfectly. Uh, he's given us the full repertoire now. Look at this for a shot. And this performance is getting better. Shot. Yeah, I mean, he's, <laughs> he's having to watch it. He, he appreciates the quality for sure. How could you not? 140. Well, he's not clapping this time yet, is he? But he's cold off for doing that last time. Crowd are getting behind him. It's been a breathtaking break. The complete 
contrast really all the way through it. It was superb cue ball. Now it's the cue ball's going everywhere. 125. What's it going to be on this black? It might be a standing ovation, I think, if it goes in somewhere. It's been so good, Dave. Well, he is kind of on it. It's on its way. It's on its way. Oh, it doesn't drop, but a 125. Stylish. <laughs> Sean Murphy saying, why didn't you pot the black? Unfortunately for him, he potted everything else. And that's why he's leading 4-1. Let's hear more now about the world number one, Judd Trump. He's racking up the money this year. He can treat himself to whatever he wants, really. He's already 841,000 before this tournament because it's 100,000 to the winner at the weekend. And Judge Trump looking good, certainly for a semi final spot. There are the stats. I mean, Murphy's not missed a lot, but it's not about that. It's about leaving chances. And that red that Trump managed to pot with the trace aside led to another century. So he's had 1 to 8 and 1 to 5. He's just on a great run, isn't he, Judge Trump, of uh, just picking up titles. You can see. The last couple of seasons, these are the tournaments that he's uh, managed to win. Just adding the Saudi Arabia Masters on. There's not room for them all, actually. They've won so many. Five last season, two already this season. Finals as well, and could be more. Well, there will be more, I'm sure, on the horizon. Judd Trump has turned it on and then some. Sean Murphy's Back capable of that sort of snooker. Him. He's got to get in, though. He's got to keep Judd Trump out, and if he gets in himself, and he's getting good support here from this crowd, he's got to make something happen, otherwise it will be Judd Trump's night. He leads 4-1. He's actually missed a ball. I'm not saying it was easy, because clearly at that range it wasn't. But I still half thought he'd get it. The form he's in tonight it has been pretty special, isn't he? Let's be honest. I think I think Sean Murphy's played well. You know, he hasn't made many mistakes. He just. Whatever he has done wrong, he's been severely punished. Even that last frame where he tried to open the balls up, it looked to be a good safety shot. Just left a red that was maybe potable. And that was his last shot. It'd be a tough score sometimes. I 
And also, Trump's safety is immaculate. I've noticed it. A lot of shots have been played from where Sean is standing right now. So that's another error, I'm afraid. This is so similar on the other side of the table to the last frame. Shrug of the shoulders. Absolutely perfectly on the blue, would you believe? You wouldn't be certain that this is not it. And it's only after one ball. <coughs> Completely focused tonight. And the mid-session didn't do anything to stop him. Seven. Again, Murphy is uh, trying to balls open, but if you leave one on, the mood trumps in, he's going to knock him in. So now it's down to him to try and get it one. Put himself into what would be a 65th ranking event semi-final. This is his 98th quarter-final. from 14. Well, he overhit that one all right. And, uh, a trudge to the table from Sean. I tell you what, it's a good job it didn't go in. He would have been absolutely buried on a colour. I'm not sure what Judd would have done had he potted the red where the cables ended up. <laughs> Murphy do. There is well, maybe a very thin, very awkward red, but it was one of the very few reckless shots that Trump has played. He probably deserved to be punished more than where the balls have finished. 31 and a half minutes without potting a ball and counting.
file. I'm gonna miss. Sean Murphy's four. Yeah. So the second attempt. And it seems to me that Murphy, with all the problems right now, you can never say he's out of the match. You know, he's good enough to win frames in one visit. But I don't think he can afford to make any mistakes, put it that way. No, I mean, it could already, of course, have been over here. But the, the danger is still lurking. They're just getting underway again next door. 3-1 to Slesser, of course, over Heathcote there. And whoever wins that will play the winner of this match tomorrow night. He was lucky there, clearly. It was a nice pot, but he had no idea the black was going to end up over the, the green pocket. And he pushed it onto the side cushion, then really there was nothing except for quite a difficult pink. He might still play the pink, in fact, if he can cue it. There's a bother with the black is you play it with top spin and the cue doesn't really leave the bulk area because it goes the other way and the spin sort of traps it down that end. Done. Now, is that red in the middle of the bunch available? I don't think he Eight. knew about it. There's a plant potentially as well. I think the plant is a natural. If he pots it, he'll be able to get onto the black into the same pocket. Nice. Right, the pink. Either way. I feel that this, the end might be quite close. Twenty. Certainly, his potting from distance has made a, a, a difference tonight, hasn't it? Seven out of eight, so 88% long pot success. Some of them have been absolute pearlers as well. He's been getting him in. Twenty. Overall pot success for Trump, 95%. Very, very good. Twenty seven. Twenty eight. Well, I'm sure Murphy hasn't potted a ball the last three frames. And time's running out. If he's gonna pot another one now in this match. 35. Yeah, I mean, there was that mistake that Trump made where the cue will end up in the right in the middle of the reds. 
which was the one moment where he got lucky. And 36. If ever Murphy was going to get back, maybe that was the chance he had to take, but it wasn't after an error. Murphy seemed to be very frustrated during the, well, certainly towards the end of the third frame. He accepted that he lost the first frame with, you know, 62 break, but he got in, in frame three, and when he ended up losing it, you could see the frustration on his face. We didn't get any easier when there was back-to-back -back hundreds in the next two. <laughs> anyway, he's still not there yet. 75 still on, should he miss? He's, he's not easier queuing over the top of that red, the thin black. Not really that surprised he missed it. It was not a nice shot, 46. but he's blocked the pocket. May have been on his mind to do, but Murphy still I don't think has got anything to go at here. minutes playing time not over yet but Sean Murphy having nothing really to go at but if he were to get in you know this would be a great chance with where the bulls eyes brought the safe redder into play there Well, in the end, he's played a good line, but unfortunately not hard enough. I mean, that was close to being a very good safety shot. Perfect line. But another red of this kind. We've seen three, I think, now left like this. Almost the identical shot. I'm not missing anything at long range. He looks very sharp tonight. Finished kind of nowhere. Just needing one red. Eight. <coughs> Look for all the world to be over. Yeah, I mean, he probably can pop that right hand red of the two just next to the black, cut it into the right corner. Definitely gettable, but then the cue ball might hit the red and the black below it. He doesn't have a lot of control over the shot. I mean, he could play safe. He doesn't really want to have to 
wait another visit, but he, he might have to. He's very much in control of the match. He's just taking a little bit longer to get over the line than anyone thought, points. including him, I would say, in this frame. But still, Murphy to go at. See the other match there as well, which is Slessor 3, Heathcote 1. A lot of snooker to be played. Potentially. Well, Murphy is pounding away at these safety shots, and that's a good one. Him in there slightly. With just a hope of something. I mean, if he got a chance from here, he could clear up. Yeah, we saw in frame one, Trump did exactly that against him, albeit later in the frame. He did it a couple of times last night to Barry Hawkins. But the winning ball has gone in. I think he played that uh, with a view to getting the cue ball safe. He looked across at the pocket line from on that left side. Uh, it was a brilliant shot, and it was a shot to nothing and an unusual one. And he's still not happy with his position, but ultimately it's snooker's required. I think he played this. I really do. He certainly didn't put his hand up to apologise for anything. I'd like another one in, wouldn't it? It's uh, two snookers need as it stands. So this feels now like it really is the winning ball if he pots it, if he goes for it, that is. Oh. Wriggles in, and surely Judd Trump is now through. And he's played magnificently this evening. His focus has been exemplary. His long game has been terrific. He scored, he had the back-to-back -back centuries. Good safety as well. Another all-round really good performance. Yeah, well, I think he's played himself, the same as you. And it's very hard to, to completely shut out someone 12. as good as Murphy for as long as he has. He's not really played a part. 30. And you have to go right back to frame three. When he last did, he got in. It's been a few penalty points in his favour, but he's not pulled the ball for and it must seem, must seem like an eternity. 20. 45 minutes of playing time, and that is a long time to watch Judd Trump pot everything. 20. What he's had to do. But one thing you can say is that Judd Trump, and we know that he's a bit of a winning machine, but I reckon he's played as well this week in to the weekend stage. They've seen him for a long while. 25. Well, it's now six wins in a row against Sean 26. Murphy. 17 9 on the head to head. It's hard to beat Trump anywhere at the minute, but here in Belfast at the Waterfront Hall, he really is the man. And there's only going to be two more opportunities either Elliot Slesser or Louis Heathcote to play Karen Wilson or Pang Chung Zhu in the final. This will be a good one, says Sean. Well, I wouldn't put it past him. Judd Trump continues his quest for a fifth Northern Ireland Open title. Sean Murphy, warm words in defeat. Very well played. It certainly was. The back-to-back -back centuries were the highlights, but in every department he was very strong. He's beaten Sean Murphy 5-1. And of course the crowd can continue to watch the other table, which is a little slower going. 3-1 there, Elliot.